G'day, it's Jamie, and welcome to Where's My Yowie. Today, I'm reading an old magazine article about an Aboriginal Yowie tale, so we'll get into it. This was published in the Bulletin, Volume 75, Number 3896, on the 13th of October, 1954, titled Aboriginal Tales. Dulagal, the Hairy Men, by Roland Robinson. This story was recently related by the Aborigine Percy Mumbulla, son of old Jackie Mumbulla, King Mumbulla, on the far south coast of New South Wales. Abdulagal is a gorilla like man. He has long, spindly legs. He has big chest long arms. His forehead goes back from his eyebrows. His head goes into his shoulders, no neck. They live now on Kokwai and Polar Wombara Mountains. If you're walking with another man or two along a road, a bird, a nighthawk or sandpiper sing out and come up to you and give you warning. This bird's name is Moonjigal or Bunjan. Bird comes out and cries, Kara! and cries out, Chika, 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 Chika. Almost pecks ground in front of you and flutters along ground. We have to follow that bird three or four miles until we see him no more, then we out of danger. Dulagal makes you weak and tired. You can't walk. Your mate gets weak. What's the matter, you say? I'm weak, he says. You bustle about. Make fire. No let fire go out. If fire goes out, you go to sleep. Dulagar comes. He lift up blanket. He tickle you. If you laugh and wake up, he grab you put you under arm and walk off with you. He tear off your arms, tear you to pieces. He bash you against a tree and eat you raw. Hairy man, one Dulagar at Tathra, he stopped there. My father, old Jackie Mumbulla, and woman named Nadi, who was good at climbing trees, took some old warriors out with him once for company. They were going out for gumbows, koala bears, or anything they could find. One old man wants to go off alone. They say to this old man, you knock on tree if you find anything. Old man goes off and climbs tree for gumbow. He goes out along bow. He throws his tomahawk and hits a bear. Bear falls down, thump. Then this old man slips on bow and falls. He breaks his back. Old Jackie Mumbulla and his tribe not here knock on tree. Right ho, my father sings out. Gather up all gum boughs, whatever you got, and start back home to camp. They get back to camp, open up bears, take out guts and skewer with sticks. They put bears in holing ground cover with hot ashes and cook. My father says to tribe, if old man not back by daylight, we go out to find him. Right ho, the others call out. Daylight, no old man. My father wakes up tribe. Come on, all you fellows, we have to go out for old man. They find tracks where old man dragged himself to Big Log. Behind Big Log, they find old man asleep. They lift him up and carry him back to camp on sticks. Old man says that at night, Dulagal, hairy man, smell him out. Dulagal comes over and old man, he clever fellow, sings out and speaks to Dulagar. That hairy man looks after old fellow all night. When daylight is coming, hairy man leaves. Hairy man can't talk. He sings out, 
Cooey. He sings out to say, well, I'm going, going to leave you now. He hits log with big stick. Bong. As much as to say, I get back to mountain and bush. Hairy man keeps looking behind him as he walks away, as though in pity. But no good. Old man die. He's back broken. We look at it this way. Our saviour, Muriel, say this old man hurt. Hairy man takes pity. Hairy man has to eat. Muriel make hairy man not harm old man because old fellow was looking for his food and fell off bow and broke his back. The end. Well, that's an awesome story. I love that. I really love the description at the star where they said uh, he's a gorilla-like man with long spindly legs, big chest, long arms, forehead goes back from his eyebrows and his head goes into his shoulders, no neck. And... Um, I love the way that they said, like, um, if you fall asleep and one catches you when you're asleep, he'll uh, pick you up and walk you off and tear off your arm and tear you to pieces, bash you against a tree and eat you. I love old stories like this. I reckon they're awesome. Okay, that's it for me. I'll get back to you all next time. Bye.